thoughts are like seeds. If we don't regulate our thoughts, they one day can turn into our chaotic life. The result would be a chaotic life which is beyond our control. Hello everyone. Today, I would like to introduce what I think is one of the most vital components of heartfulness practice called cleaning. What are we cleaning? We are cleaning the impressions that we gather during daytime, during our daily activities. So what are these impressions? How do we anyway gather them? Let us see, you see something. You saw a rose flower while walking in a garden. You admire the beauty of this rose flower. What next? Later on you might feel, oh, it's so lovely. Let me go nearby. Hold it in your hands and you might say, okay, oh, lovely fragrance. Second day you happen to pass by the same area, look at the flower bloom to its fullest and say, oh my God, such a beautiful flower. You might feel like plucking it. A time may come, oh, I must have such a rose flower. Maybe in my, in my backyard or maybe in the front of my house or maybe it should be in my solar window. So this is how we get attracted towards something and the very effort of avoiding or indulging with that creates an impression in our mind. Another example I would like to share with you. Suppose someone is passing towards whom you are attracted. It's a simple phenomena. A person is passing. But you are so attracted. It, you remain bewildered by that person's personality. And you keep thinking about that person. This is the impression. This is how we gather this impression. And this is how we form our destiny as well. So thus, we see that sometimes we look at a person and fall in love instantly. Or a lover once gives you such a look and then you say, Oh, why, that, why is he looking at me like that? And you might uh, say, Oh, I don't like this. What is this all based upon? Subliminal influences that we carry in our consciousness. We call these influences impressions or samskaras. So here, where the cleaning process comes into picture. We like to perceive things as it is, as real as it could be. With the help of cleaning process, we are able to come to an inner state which will remain non-judgmental, which will somehow efface the influence of certain impressions when we remove such an impact of memories, when we unload ourselves from such emotional burden, which is what keeps us bound to a certain patterns of thoughts, perception, emotions and behavior. This brings objectivity and clarity to our perceptions, cleaning. We need to remove these filters of impressions. This is not just a psychological phenomena. It also prevents our spiritual expansion because impressions represent vibrational pattern in consciousness which have become fixated. These impressions or samskaras settle down in the deepest layers of our subconscious where they eventually cover the soul. They separate us from the most essential element of our being. As we accumulate more and more of these impressions, this network becomes denser and it starts to resemble the layers of that, what we find in geological sedimentations. Like geology, it becomes a record of our past. The cleaning process frees us from both past and future. So, 
we can design our own destiny. We react to certain things as it should be. I'd like to share with you an example from Master Gardener. This I know when I read a book as a man think it by James Allen. He gives an example of a master gardener who sows the seeds well planned. He executes his plan of proper gardening as per his wish. He knows what to plant where, which shrub, which vine, which tree will go where. But if you don't care about proper planning, and if you let it happen, you know, the weeds will go everywhere. In no time, you'll have a jungle, a big forest. Thoughts are all like that. Thoughts are like seeds. If we don't regulate our thoughts, they one day can turn into our chaotic life. The result would be a chaotic life which is beyond our control. Jungle is our consciousness then. There are conflicting ideas and conflicting emotions, desires, dislikes. Our inner environment becomes so complex. So, cleaning helps us here to get rid of these scattered ideas based on our reactions and emotion outbursts. Mm -hmm.